everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made these adorable little hippie boho earrings, flower earrings, using the Adornable Elements Plum Royale Two-Hole Bead of the Month Club for, um, for May. Uh, Bead of the Month Club from Adornable Elements. I receive two of them monthly, the Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month and the Two-Hole Beads of the Month. You can save... Um, 10% off on your first order from them by using my coupon code BNJewelry10. I will leave a link to the code and their website below. Each one of these packs is $22.95 a month for the single ones, and they also have double ones for $39.95 a month. And they also have quite a few other bead boxes for you to um, pick. They have gemstone, seed beads, uh, fire polish, uh, all different kinds. So definitely take a look at them and use my coupon code if you are interested so you'll save some money. So if you want to learn how to make these really pretty earrings, then stay tuned. Okay, so to start off making this boho flower beaded earring, I'm going to be using from the Plum Royale Two Hole Bead of the Month Club for May for Adornable Elements. I'm using the Crystal Amber Super Duos. And I'm using the Halo Magenta Paisley Duos. And I'm also using some of my three millimeter uh, fire polish beads. And these have like a, a little, um, kind of pick them up and show you. They have kind of a little uh, clear, you know, you can see different colors on them. They're not like one solid color. And I like them because they kind of mixed and did that. And then I'm using just some of my 11 -0 check seed beads, the royal blue ones. They're 11 O's. So I'm going to put those right there. And then I have, I don't want to spill this, I just loaded up my needle. I have a number 10 beading needle. And I have some of my wildfire on there. And let's get started. So, oh, and I do have, I've been using a lot of the black air wires. I think they're cool because they don't, they kind of blend in more with the, the piece that I'm making, like the silver or gold or whatever would stand out a little more. The black kind of fades into the background. So this is more the focal piece for it. Okay, so we're going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the super duos. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight here. Dragging that all the way down. I have about a wingspan of thread on my needle so i bring that down and i'm gonna go feed it through here one more time make sure everything is on here so that's that so i'm just gonna kind of Pull that, I'm holding the other end. I'm kind of pulling that like that. So it's like that. And then I'm going to tie a knot, tie one knot, and this will be a double knot. One, or a surgeon's knot as they call it two. And I pull that and take my Bentino's pliers, kind of give it a good tug. And then I will take my cutters and cut that. There's still a teeny bit left there that you won't be able to see. So it's not cut right up against the knot. And then I will go through a few of the super duos. on the bottom, just to kind of get away from that knot. One, and then 
two. Okay, so I'm right here. Now we're gonna go to the next, and I'm gonna put one of the Paisley Duos in between each one and have them all going the same way. So I'm going to jump up to the top hole of the Super Duo and bring this down like this. So let me see. So we're all going to, we're gonna start them going this way. So and there's two holes in these. So I'm gonna do, just have them all going this way like this. And I'm gonna pick them up, bring them through. Just make sure as you're doing it that they're all going the same way. Three. And that has a little bit of. Hold on one second. Sometimes I have to take. Um, I can take a head pin. And kind of go through it. It's not really. Sometimes they just get clogged. There we go. Okay. So, let me see where we're at here. Okay. So here we are right here. We're going to take this one right here. We're going to go through here. Do this. We're going to do these. Oh, they're getting caught on the end of my mat. <laughs> Okay, a couple more, two more. Like that, and then one more. Okay. And I'm gonna go through here. So now I'm going to make sure that they're all facing the right way. And they're coming out like this. Now I'm going to go through them one more time. Just to kind of reinforce this whole thing. through here. Okay, so we're coming through here. 
so now I've gone almost all the way around like this so now I'm going to take two of the 11 o seed beads I'm going to connect it from one to the next and that's going to hold them in position a little better so they're not wobbling one and two see how they're connecting now one two it's keeping them steady and it's right above the tip of the super duo so the Super Duo is not involved in this one. Oh, that one popped off. <laughs> okay. One more. One, two, okay. So now I'm going to go around this once really quick and just kind of, just to kind of reinforce all these beads. I'm going to the Paisley Duo and then Do the Paisley duo and then the C beats. So I'm doing this really quick. I'm not fast forwarding this just in case if there's someone who's still new to learning. I know I have very experienced beaters that follow me and some new beaters. And sometimes seeing us make mistakes helps you. I'm going to go through this and then I'm going to grab those little seed beads. One, two. Okay. I think that's, that's it right there. Okay, so now we're going to, let me get a few more. The super duo is out. So now we're going to, I'm going to go through one more like this. And then I'm going to turn it around. And I like to jump up where it's against the beads so you can't see this string as much. It kind of just kind of helps hide it. Okay. So now we're going to do, we're up in the second hole of the Paisley Duo. So now we're gonna do a seed bead, super duo, and a seed bead. So super, seed bead, super duo, and a seed bead. And go through. Like that. Seed bead, super duo, and a seed bead. that oh let's see let me go through here I 
I have become obsessed with super duos in the last couple months. I'm going to be putting up a what's new on my bead mat. Wait till you see all the stuff I've been doing on the side. <laughs> You're going to be like, okay, I think I need one of those, those, uh, what is it, 13 steps <laughs> meetings. I'm a beadaholic for super duos. <laughs> I've just been having a blast. They just the the way they fit in so neatly together and create so many things. You could be so creative with super duos. And then this is our last one that I'm gonna go through and reinforce. Seed bead. Okay. And let me see where I'm at here. Through there. Okay. A couple more. See, sometimes they come right through. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to go through here. And this to come out at the super duo and turn that around because I'm left handed. And then I'm going to come up through the super duo. And now I'm going to be finishing off with fire polish, seed bead, fire polish, seed bead, fire polish. Blah. Say that three times fast. Okay. So we do fire polish. Seed bead, fire polish, seed bead, fire polish. And put that through. And see? And it makes that little scalloped edge. It is so pretty. You can, if you're, you know, new to beading, you can you know, like watch a tutorial that I do or somebody else does and then take that and then do your own spin on it. That's what's cool about learning new things. Like I've learned things from beaters and then said, oh, I like this, but I want to try this instead and add this, you know, or what would happen if I do this? And a lot of times I'll take someone's video and I'll learn something and then I'll try something different. It won't work out, but then through that, me failing on one thing, I learned something new. And then I'm able to create something. And you have to remember, you know, you're not gonna always it's not gonna always be perfect, but you you know, you take what you learn and you put your own spin on it. So I'm doing this. And I like that little scalloped edge. Kind of looks like a little hippie inspired earring. Okay. Almost done. And then the last one's here. One, two, three, four, and five. There we 
go. And I'm going to go through a few more of these. I don't want to make it too tight because I don't want to take that scalloped edge and make it too rigid. So I'm not making it like, like really securing it really tight. So now I'm going to do the earring. So I take eight seed beads. Let me kind of, so I'm going to go through these two. And then after I make this little hoop, then I go around the earring. Okay, so I'm going through there. So it's like here. Now I'm going to pick up eight of these seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm going to go up and go th back through this seed bead to make a circle and through these two and come out there. And that's what it looks like. Then I flip it around and then I go back up through these eight, because you want to reinforce this, especially if you're gonna have an ear wire on here. You want to uh, have it reinforced so that It, um, it doesn't come apart, especially like I always say, if you sell your jewelry. And then I always take my round nose pliers, kind of put it through there and make that hole like that. But you can do it afterwards. Get through that seed bead. There we go. Okay, like I said, I'm not pulling it too tight. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go around a couple more times. They're so slippery on the tips of the beads. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go up against the Super Duo, and then I'm going to. Through there, I'm gonna just do one knot here. I'm gonna go through a couple more. Like I said before, if you pull this too tight, it's gonna buckle. So you want it to have some, you know, some strength, but you don't want it to be too crazy. And then I'm gonna do it around twice. Okay. I'm not tightening the earring, but I just want to make sure I pull it tight. Okay, and then I'm going to go through here. One, two, three, four. Okay. go up to the super duo and then I'm going to cut it okay now I have this really pretty 
scalloped earring like this. You can burn it. You could do whatever you want to with it. I'm just cutting it because I feel like it's pretty secure here. I'm taking my chain nose pliers. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to put this through like that. Kind of get it where it's in between those seed beads. And I'm going to close that back up. like this. And don't forget to use my coupon code BNJewelry10 to save 10% off your first order from them. I've had quite a, people order, quite a few people order now and say they absolutely love the beads. They're just so much fun to work with because you get all these different shapes, you know. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for my next video that I'm going to show you. I know you're going to love it and all of my information is below my Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and my Pinterest links. If you're interested, go down in the description and you have a great day.